Hey guys, welcome to this video. Hasib here and hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about Convergence API. I'm going to talk about what it is, how it helps you um, get better results from Facebook ads. And also I'm going to help you implement it on your WordPress website. And also if you are running Facebook ads and sending traffic to a Go High Level landing page, I'm going to also show you how to do that, how to set up Convergence API with your Go High Level funnel landing pages as well. So what Convergence API really is, is that it, it's really a server side conversion tracking system, which is more advanced than the ordinary metapixel conversion trackings we've got. So previously we used to have metapixel conversions and those still exist by the way. But what happened is after an update from iOS, we have lost control over the metapixel conversions in a sense that we can't track it really accurately nowadays. So because the user has more control over what data to share from the browser, sometimes we fail to track accurate results or accurate conversions from the user's browser end. That's why conversion API is really essential nowadays. If you're doing Facebook ads and you know sending traffic to your WordPress site, any other website funnel or you know any CRM funnel page or even using a lead form Facebook ad, conversion tracking using conversion API is really, really important for you to do. So what it really does is it not only can track data more accurately or conversions more accurately, but also it has the ability to send data from your CRM or your system back to Facebook ad algorithm and say that, hey, these are the good data. These are the good conversions. We need more conversion li like this. So it creates a back and forth communication between your system and the Facebook ads. Because of that data transfer, your ad will be more optimized, even stronger than ever. So I'm going to help you first implement that on your WordPress website. And then we're going to move over to creating a conversions API implementation on your Go High Level Funnel page. So I'll just go to my screen now and I'll see you there. All right. So we are on my screen right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Meta Business Suite. So I'm going to go to business.facebook.com because we need to start by setting up a pixel or creating a pixel. So I'm here and I'm going to click on this drop down. I'm going to go to my business manager. So I'm going to go to the Meta Business Portfolio. This is the portfolio and a lot of data will be blurred. So don't worry about it. Then we are going to go to data sources because now we are working on uh, implementing Conversions API on the WordPress site first. So I'm going to go to data sources. We are not going to go to pixels because it's not known as pixels anymore. Um, we will go to data sets and I'm going to create a data set called whatever you want to call it. So I have lots of data sets I can work with, uh, but I'll create a new one anyway. So I'll say copy. WordPress. Cappy means conversions API, by the way. Uh, anyway, once I create that, I'm going to find the right one, right data set that I just created. Let me refresh. That's the one. Okay. So now I'm going to assign people. I'm going to assign myself. And I'm going to give myself full access to manage these data sets or this data set. And uh, once I'm done, what I can do is I can leave it as it is right now. So I'm not going to touch anything. Now, the rest of the things uh, in terms of implementing Convergence API, I need to do this from my WordPress site. So here we are on my website's WP admin backend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plugins. We need to start by installing a new plugin. I'm going to go to add plugins and I'm going to search meta pixel, meta pixel. And uh, here's the plugin meta pixel for WordPress. That's right. The one that looks like shit. So I know that this doesn't have a lot of good reviews, but trust me, this is the one. So I'm going to install this. That's the plugin that we'll use in order to implement Convergence API on our WordPress websites. And once it's done installing, I'm going to activate it. Activate. Okay, that's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find out the plugin. Where is it? Okay, that's the one. So I'm going to go to settings. And now the wizard should be really, really simple. Only if it loads. All right, it loaded. So I'll click on get started. And okay, yeah, continue. Next. Next thing is you need to set these things up. Business portfolio, Facebook page, Instagram profile, ad account, Metapixels. So Metapixels will be the uh, the one that I just created named Cappy WordPress. First of all, let's configure the business portfolio. So I'll just, I have lots of uh, portfolios here. So I'll just select my own. And from this long list, I need to select my Facebook page. That's it. 
hit next if you want to add your instagram profile you can just simply hit add profile and add it but i'm not going to do it for this video but you know just literally click on this and log into instagram that's going to connect your instagram profile hit next add your uh ad account the facebook ad account and then search for the pixel that you just created so this is the one just created uh or the data set you know whatever you want to call it and hit continue and then uh it's gonna ask you a question what is wordpress app allowed to do hit next give it all the access it needs because this is a plugin by facebook i don't think there should be any data breach issues because we wordpress users are always under a threat that uh something might happen to our site and we we are always uh careful about it so that's okay i agree to share my token yeah confirm and that's it that's all the things that we need right now if you come down over here maybe you need to refresh so i'll just hit refresh and uh, there will be a few options pop up once you refresh your screen the first one that says send website events to meta using conversions api you're gonna check mark that because li literally that's the option that allows the conversion api connection with or establishes the conversion api connection with your wordpress website so sometimes that may be unchecked you need to make sure you check mark that and that's it. That's literally everything that you need to do in terms of setting up Convergence API with your WordPress website. Now, if you go back to the data set that you created, you can now go to open an events manager and uh, you can start you know seeing events because it may take a while for the conversion api connected uh, connection to be uh, set up properly but you can start by putting your website url here and opening it in a new window and then based on what you do uh, all the events will be noted down here as you can see page view was uh, just loaded because i just loaded the page and now if i go if i click on this button let's see what happens and then it took me to another page let's see what difference uh, it makes subscribe button click subscribe button click i clicked on it twice that's why page view a new page view so these all will be loaded in the data set through conversion api from the integration that you just made so i hope that made sense now we are going to move on to implementing conversions api on your go high level funnel landing page so i'm back in my business portfolio i need to now create another data set so i can show you how to create conversions api integration with go high level funnels so let's go to my go high level account for a minute and uh, i if i go to my sites if i go to appointment bookings i should have a funnel so i'm going to use this funnel in order to set up the conversions api integration uh in terms of setting conversions api with funnels all G all go high level funnels look alike so the process should be same for anything as long as you understand the basics so let me go back and i'll start by adding a new data set i'm going to call this cappy ghl again it's not loaded so i have to refresh that's my new data set i'm going to assign people i'm going to assign myself all right give all the access i need and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click done open it in events manager all right so now let's go ahead and start by setting up the meta pixels so I'll install code manually and copy code and come over here in settings and uh, i'll just get rid of the existing meta pixel i have and install it under settings on the head section so this is the actual meta pixel i'm not talking about conversions api yet this is the basic meta pixel i need to set that up first now if i hit continue and uh, it will give me an option to turn on automatic uh, advanced matching so i'm gonna make sure that all these are on these are pretty much signals that i need and then go to pixel overview right okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to settings real quick this is my data set id and uh, if i go down a bit i need to make sure turn on automatic advanced matching is on now i'll go back to overview and now i'll click on setup conversions api so just so you understand sometimes this option is not available for some really really weird reason i don't know what facebook's trying to do with this by making things super complicated so you may see an option here to you know set up conversion api manually so as long as you see something that includes manual setup conversion api click on that because you may not see the same view that i am seeing which is quite annoying but the 
the type of setup or the type of integration I am creating right now is Conversions API manual setup. So that's why I'm emphasizing on manual. Uh, just click on this. And as you can see, I'm setting it up manually. Again, you may see a pop up here that says uh, manual connection or manual setup. So as long as you see something like that, click on that. That should be the one we are going after. Hit next, hit continue. If you want to read it out, read it out, you can read it. And uh, here you can select your category. So I deal with technology. So I'll select technology, but you can select your relevant category. And then you can select the events you want to track. So that that's the level of control Conversion API gives you now. So I'm going to select schedule, lead, contact, add payment info, because I sometimes my funnels deal with payment, but I'm just giving an example through an appointment funnel. That doesn't mean that I won't be using these in the future. You can select all the relevant ones. So I'll, for now, I'll just do add payment info, contact, lead and schedule. That's it. Maybe subscribe as well, but I'll, I'll keep it blank for now. Continue. Next step is more specific. Now, for each of these events, what signals do I want to track? So these are information parameters, or also they're known as signals. So click on event ID. That's definitely what you need. And literally check mark all these options. You need everything, right? And then Instead of going continue, because you have three other options that you selected uh, as events on the previous step. So I'll go to contact. I'll do the same thing. That's it. And then go to the next one, lead. This is probably more important, right? Okay. And then finally schedule, which will be more relevant with uh, the funnel I'm creating this integration for, right? Okay. And now finally, when you're done checking all the boxes, hit continue. Now it's going to give you a summary of what you selected in the previous steps, which is four events and a bunch of signals for all those for each of these events. Now you can click on send instructions, you can put your email. So I'll just put my email. And uh, then I'll just send it. So I'm sending this instruction. And now I'll click on get started. Okay, I'll just get started. Explore integration generate access token. So this is more important for the go high level integration. So I'm going to copy this token. And I'm going to keep it somewhere. Okay, I'm going to keep it on my notes right now. Okay, I've copied it somewhere. And then I go through all these options. I don't have any actions to take here. I'll launch test events, finish. Okay, click hit, hit finish. That's it. So you have your CAPI set up now. Now you have your CAPI set up on the events manager. Now you have to go back to your high level. And now you have to go to automation. Make sure you have a set of the Metapixel, by the way. So I'm going to create a new folder called CAPI or conversions API. And then I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm going to say copy lead event, right? Okay, now, uh, if the form is submitted, so I'll just say form submitted, basically, I'm tracking, uh, you know, I'm sending data to Facebook ad through conversions API, if a form has been submitted by someone who came from a Facebook ad, let's assume that this is the form. Um, let's say this is the form, right? Okay, save trigger. Now I'm going to select the action conversions API. So the action name is Facebook conversion API through this action, I'm going to send the data through conversion API. And remember the access token we copied from the conversions API. I'm going to copy that now. I'm going to put that here. Make sure it's a funnel event. And now go back to your data set or pixel, go to settings and copy this data set ID, right? Copy this ID and put it over here. And the Facebook event name will be lead, obviously, because we are tracking the leads or sending data for the lead events. Value could be anything based on your potential revenue from the lead. So I'll say $1,000 for now. Currency USD, test code not needed. So that's literally it. Publish, save. So you're sending, whenever there's a new lead, you're sending data to Facebook data sets or Facebook pixels, just so you don't get confused through this workflow, which is basically the server side tracking. Go high level is your server and you're putting an extra layer of automation to make sure that the pixels or the data sets are tracking data efficiently or more accurately. Now, if it was a schedule event, appointment booking event, I would literally change it to CAPI schedule. And this could be, uh, these could concurrently exist. So I'll just maybe create a new workflow just so you don't get confused. So I'll just duplicate this. I'll just say two, 
Cappy's schedule event. So this, the, the, uh, this is basically tracking the appointment bookings that we get from Facebook ads. Cappy schedule event, form submitted. Instead of form submitted, I'll just say appointment status. And uh, normal in calendar, book a call with me maybe. Um, appointment status is confirmed. So now what we're doing is the initial trigger for the workflow will be appointment status is confirmed for a certain calendar. The conversion API event will be still funnel event because that's happening in a funnel, not through a lead form. If it was happening through a lead form, it would be lead event. Now, what I would do is I would keep it same, the access token pixel ID same, instead of lead, we would say schedule. And the value could be thousand or any, uh, anything you want. Publish, save. So they can exist. These these workflows can exist at the same time that there's no override or there's no overlapping or anything. Now, you can create as many workflows as you like based on how many events you're tracking through conversion API integration. But I'll just show you one more uh, workflow, which is what if I want to send the good data or the good lead or the qualified lead information back to Facebook and say that these are the type of leads we need. These are the signals and these are more valuable leads for us. So I'll just say send good signals or lead signals to Cappy. So here I'm going to say uh, maybe I have a pipeline. I have a pipeline stage that says closed. So I'll say pipeline stage changed. I'm going to select that in pipeline leads in um, pipeline stage closed. So whenever I close someone, they get moved to this stage, right? So I'll save this. Now I want whoever I've closed those leads data to, or those prospects data to go back to Facebook. So I'm going to click on Facebook uh, conversion API and uh, everything remains the same. Click, uh, just copy the token, pixel ID, instead of lead event, uh, it could be anything else like payment info or payment may, uh, or maybe completed registration, something purchase, purchase. Okay. Let's say purchase value is a thousand based on what you want, right? Okay. That's it. Or if you want, you, you can also do lead event, but I, you know, that's for lead form. So you can do funnel events right now. So that's how you, you know, based on a pipeline state change, you can, uh, you can send data to conversions API as well. So this data is really, really valuable to Facebook algorithm in order to, you know, optimize the ads a bit more for you. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you, work with Convergence API and I hope that was a really valuable video and uh, this helped you understand Convergence API a bit more. So you can now use it for your WordPress. You can now use it for your Go High Level Funnels uh, if you like. I know there are, you know, other sites like Wix, Squarespace, Shopify. There are obviously ways to integrate Convergence API with those as well. Maybe I'll make videos on that later, but for now, that's it. If you like this video, subscribe and share it with other people that need, you know, these kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.